myself professor prithish chitte working as an assistant professor in mechanical engineering department in walchand stop technology solapur welcome to the second session with respect to the gear terminologies what is meant by gear and today we are discussing how we can measure the gear to thickness with the help of a metrological equipments welcome to the course of metrology and quality control what the students can learn in this particular session like we are discussing today the different methods of measuring the gear to thickness just we will have the preview of the session one in the last session we have discussed like uh, the, what are the different types of gear what is mean by gear different areas with respect to the gear and what are the different methods to measure the gear to thickness now the, what is mean by gear like we have discussed in the last session the gear can be used to transfer the power or the motion from one shaft to the other shaft in the different conventional machine tools we can use the gear to transfer the motion from one shaft to the other shaft for example there is a, a cnc lathe machine there is a cnc milling machine for example uh, industrial robots automatic storage and retrieval system automatic guided vehicle these are the components of industrial automation where th we can use like the th additive manufacturing machine tools or the 3d printers in each and every industrial automation components or industry 4.0 components there will be the use of gears to transfer the motion or the power from one shaft to the another shaft also we have discussed different types of gears like the spur gear the helical gear the rack and pinion the worm and worm wheel the bevel gear with applications also we have discussed different terminologies in the gears like we have discussed addendum addendum circle dedendum and the dedendum circle what is mean by pitch always whenever there will be the, the the two gears those are in the meshing condition yes for each and every gear there will be the use of the pitch circle diameter that is called as the pitch circle there is a module the module that is a we can call it as the ratio of the pitch circle diameter to the number of teeth always whenever you want to design the gear or with the gear box always the module is a very important the parameter so which will play a very important uh, role to design the particular spur or maybe the the gear box now always whenever the the gear is rotating or whenever the gear is having the meshing condition or the mating condition there is a friction between the two gears and the gears are placed onto the particular shaft yes so the, there may be the chances of misalignment with respect to the gears maybe with respect to the profile the pitch or maybe the backlash or the tooth the we can call it the profile of the tooth now first of all we will discuss what is meant by run out error for that you can observe like there is a, a setup the with the help of diagram we can discuss like what is meant by run out error a particular gear which has been placed on to the a mandrel that is a lathe accessory and to the right hand side you can observe like just i can use the pointer here now here you can observe like here on to the table the the dial gauge or the we can call it as the dial indicator which is a the mechanical comparator that we can use it and to the end the probe can be fixed now whenever the probe which which will be touching to the each and every teeth yes but for that you have to rotate this particular gear very slowly so that you can observe the eccentricity of we can call it as the accuracy of the rotation of the gear now if suppose you can observe like there is a if suppose there is a variation in to the dial indicator or the dial gauge means there is a particular problem or the error which has been happening during the rotation or the eccentricity of the gear and that particular error we can call it as run out error now the important thing will be the gear should be rotating very slowly first of all and the probe with respect to the dial indicator should touch to the each and every tooth surface you can observe here yes and which particular equipment that we are using it that is called as eccentricity tester yes now here you can observe like there is a pitch that uh, the, the pitch variation so how the pitch can be varied because of the profile variation yes 
Yes, for example, uh, the deviation with respect to the actual tooth profile from ideal tooth profile, you can, you have observed that particular diagram. The tooth thickness error, now th in the, the, we can call it in particular uh, next slide, we are discussing like how to calculate the tooth thickness or the tooth alignment. Yes, that we can observe it. Now, whenever there is a, we can call it as a variation with respect to the profile with which is on to the pitch circle diameter. Here you can observe this is a pitch circle diameter. Definitely there is a variation or the deviation between the pitch to the theoretical one and the new one. You can observe here. The pitch error is the error in the actual measured pitch value between the adjacent teeth. Yes. And whenever there is a, we can, this particular profile error, how it can happen? This error is having the poor contact between the two particular gates, mating gates, yes. And that will be resulting into the loss of power and the f which is with respect to the friction bit which is happening between the two gates, yes. Now, until now we have discussed like what we have discussed in the last lecture or maybe the last session like the, the basics of the gear or maybe the terminologies and the different errors in the gear. Now, in this particular session, we are discussing like how we can measure the tooth thickness. Now, th the tooth thickness, like where is your a particular tooth, like this, and here it is. There is an arc here. Now, it is really difficult to measure the arc. We can call it as dimension or the distance. If suppose there is a linear distance, yes, very easily we can uh, measure this linear distance. But how to measure this? Uh, the dimension or the distance or the measure and with respect to the arc which is having the particular arc like this so for that a particular uh, we can call it as the method that can be used like there are different types of methods like there is a caudal thickness method where there will be the use of uh, like the gear to vernier caliper there is a constant cord method there is a best tangent method there is a measurement by dimension over the pins and most of the time in the industry is the gear tooth vernier caliper is used because of its we can call it as user friendly uh, equipment and the caudal thickness method there are some of the equations like with respect to the caudal thickness and caudal addendum with the help of which you can measure the tooth thickness now uh, this is a particular we can call it as a uh, gear tooth vernier caliper so what it consists of like it consists of a, a vertical scale on which there is a we can call it as a vernier scale that has been provided also it consists of a horizontal scale also it consists of a vernier scale now whenever you want to keep the gear like this yes so there is a plate which has been provided onto the horizontal vernier scale and this particular horizontal distance that you can measure when you were gear to that has been placed inside the horizontal vernier scale and that particular horizontal distance is called as chordal thickness which will be denoted by W that is chordal thickness and after that whenever now you are fixing it there is a, there are the clamp screws whenever you are keeping the particular at uh, the gear onto the uh, between this particular movable and fixed jaws first of all you are keeping the uh, we can call it as a gear inside this uh, the horizontal uh, vernier scale you are of with the help of fixed jaw that is the vertical uh, vernier scale yes and whenever you are fixing it with the help of clamping screw the movable jaw can be coming towards the the gate teeth, the one surface of the gate teeth. now after that what is the use of this vertical vernier scale now we can call it as the vertical we can call it as distance like this vertically they, that can be called as a depth yes so the caudal addendum that is called as a D, small d, because capital D can be used for with the pitch circle diameter. So the capital or the small d that is called an addendum that can be measured with the help of vertical vernier scale. So there are the two vernier scale that has been present into the gear tooth vernier caliper. Yes, here you can observe like there is a vertical uh, vernier scale and to the there is a horizontal vernier scale with the help of which you can calculate caudal thickness and caudal addendum or the depth also. Now here, what you can measure, like you can see there is a the angle theta and uh, 
horizontally you can measure like the this one is called as a cordal thickness <coughs> and after that there is a d which is horizontally that is uh, inside the particular gear tooth and that is called as a cordal addendum or the depth now here uh, th for example uh, w is equal to there is n into m that is number of uh, yes n into m into like a sine of 90 divided by t yes that is a particular equation for the d that is m plus t into that is 1 minus cos of 90 divided by t so these are the equation that you can find it with the help of this particular diagram that is cordal thickness and cordal addendum and with this is a per uh, mainly the parkinson gear tester with the help of this you can check really the gear are meshing or not and for that you can observe like here uh, a particular master gear that has been placed onto the spindle now you can fix this particular master gear but with respect to which you can vary the number of teeth with respect to the gear that has that you have to miss uh, the test it and which has been placed onto the a sliding carriage yes the gear under the test can be sliding here whenever it is into the meshing condition what will happen yes the we can call it as the dial indicator which has been attached to the sliding carriage so whenever the meshing will be starting yes there will be we can call it as a profile or side no sidle wave that has been placed onto the a recorder electronically recorder that has been placed now if suppose in this particular diagram you can observe like the profile how the profile has been provided whenever there is a meshing between the two gears now in this particular first case the the profile that has been achieved that is unsatisfactory in this second case that is moderate profile that you can observe it should be a circular near to circle yes that is the gear profile that has been satisfactory that is the particular output that we can observe with the help of parkinson gear tester these are the references thank you